You're watching Backyard Tech. I am in no way, shape or form a fully qualified mechanic. Therefore, if you are following along with this service repair and or information video, you are doing this at your own risk. So you have been warned. All right. So you're the proud owner of an FZJ ADR Toyota Land Cruiser with a 1FZFE 4.5 litre 6 cylinder petrol engine in it. Beautiful vehicle. But you've got some economy issues. And you're thinking it's the injectors. Maybe the injectors are dirty. Maybe they're not working properly. There could be something wrong with you know, a few of the injectors. Now, regardless of how many injectors have had it, you just replace all the injectors. The question is, do you replace the injectors with like newer high-performance injectors that atomize the fuel a lot better, giving you more power and more economy? Or do you stick with the OEM slash OEM aftermarket injectors? As you can see in the background, it's 80 series time here at Old Mates Backyard Tech. And for this video, I'm going to explain why I would just put in the OEM or OEM aftermarket injectors again. Let's face it, it's going to be cheaper. One of the best four wheel drives ever made. Here at Backyard Tech, it's 80 series time. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. It is 80 series time here at Old Mates Backyard Tech along with Old Mates Q&A and advice as well, sort of all in one video. Um, I got this email from a viewer by the name of, where have I put it? There it is, Dean. Hi, like your 80 series stuff. I've got a 1FZFE FZJ ADR and I'm thinking of replacing the injectors because my fuel economy is bad. In your opinion, Wow, someone actually wants my opinion. In your opinion, are you better off replacing them with high performance, better atomizing injectors, or do you stick with the old OEM slash OEM aftermarket injectors? I value your input. That's a rarity. Someone values my input. <laughs> wow, don't I feel honored. Um, First off, don't bank on your fuel economy just being bad because of your injectors. You're probably going to find that's part of a bigger picture with the motor. You might be right in the fact it could just be the injectors. Maybe they need cleaning, maybe they need replacing. But don't bank on it just being your injectors. There could be other issues as a bigger picture. So part of the picture might be the injectors, the other part might be throttle body, could be the fuel, could be the air box, could be the mass block, it could be the engine's running rich. Maybe the engine's running too rich. So don't just make the assumption that the problem with your fuel economy is just injectors because it might just be injectors, but it also could be part of a bigger picture issue. Point one, Dean. Point two, uh, if it was me and my 80 series, uh, I'd just replace it with OEM slash OEM aftermarket injectors. I wouldn't bother with high performance injectors. The reason being personally, and I am gonna get into so much trouble over this, you can guarantee it. You watch, watch the comments. I will get into trouble over this because I'm about to give you my own personal view as to why I would not change the injectors to high performance. It's pretty simple. Number one, I get reasonably good fuel economy off my current injectors. Number two, it's not a high performance motor. It's a, I've said this before and, and people seem to quite, can't quite understand this, but I've said it before and I'll say it again. That beast of mine will go everywhere a diesel will go. It just uses more fuel because you've got to push the engine harder. It Look, I know there's videos here on YouTube, we've all seen them, of people dropping 1FZFEs and tuning the hell out of them to go into Celicas and Toyota Sauras and all that type of stuff, all right? But by default, the 1FZFE, 4.5 litre, 6-cylinder petrol is just a low-slugging, 
big petrol four-wheel drive engine. Okay. In my car, if I had to replace one injector, I would replace all the injectors. That's the first point. Second point, I just get OEM, OEM aftermarket. I'm not going to bother putting high-performance injectors into that because I can't justify the money. Now, if you say I wasn't in the financial situation I'm in and I had money, there's a pipe dream. Would I, if I had the money, would I put high-performance injectors in that? No, I wouldn't because I don't see that as a high performance vehicle. And if I did, if I have fuel economy issues, I'm gonna be looking at other parts of the car, not just the injectors. And as I said at the start, the injectors could be a part of a bigger picture issue with your car. All right? If my injectors are dirty, which I haven't checked the injectors for, I don't know, 18 months now, probably. But I've had no trouble with the vehicle and I'm still getting the same fuel economy. So the injectors are probably all right. But if you have to replace your injectors, I personally can't justify the price of high-performance injectors into an old engine. Now, some of you out there might say I'm a complete idiot. Actually, the vast majority of 4,000 subscribers would say that, but that's a different story. If you're going to replace the injectors on a vehicle like that, assuming you're not going to do any engine modifications, my personal opinion would be I'd just stick with the OEM slash OEM aftermarket injectors. That's, like I said, even if I had cash, I still wouldn't put the money into the injectors because I don't see that as a high performance vehicle. It's three ton of solid bloody steel. It's, it's a four wheel drive. It's not designed as a speed demon. It's not like I've dumped it on its guts and using it as a, as a race car or a drag car. It's my daily driver. <coughs> Hang on a minute. Combine humidity, hot weather, cold weather, rain and dust. And I've got the sneezes. Okay, where was I? I've just blown the hell out of my sinuses. Um, I don't see that as, as needing high performance injectors. Now, people out there will disagree with me. I know that because they do all the time. I'm used to it. And the know-it-all experts always hate the everything I do anyway because they don't like it or they don't agree with it and they think that their way is the best way. Anyhow, even if I had the money to put high-performance injectors in that, it's a waste of money. Now, okay, if you're doing winch challenges and, and stuff like that, yeah, maybe you might if it's a comp truck. If you're going to set that up as a competition machine, yeah, maybe. But if it's your daily driver and you go off road, I can't justify the price of putting high performance injectors into an engine that's 27, 27 years old. So Dean, my opinion is no. And secondly, well actually no, I'll start with the two. My opinion on your first thing is don't just bank on the injectors, get a wider view of the motor. And my second opinion is, no, I can't justify the price of putting high-performance injectors into an engine that's 27 years old. That's my daily driver, gets off-road, it's not a comp truck, it, it, it's my car, basically. So I can't justify that. And as I said, don't bank on your injectors just being the problem with your fuel economy. Bank on a bigger picture. There could be other issues down there. The injectors might be part of the problem. All right, now, let me just justify that because as we know, I have to justify the everything. The injectors could be the bigger part of the economy picture. That's possible. But it also could be a smaller part or maybe it's a 50-50 split. 50% of your problems are your injectors. The other 50% of the problem could be timing, 
mixture, throttle body, intake manifold, valves, the other 50%. Or it could be a myriad of issues to make up 100%, which includes the injectors. All right? So that's, Dean, that's my advice. That's the best advice I can give you. Um, I just... I can't justify the price of high-performance injectors. And frankly, this is where I'm going to get into trouble. From my own view, I would be wasting my money on putting high-performance injectors on that. That's how I view it. I would waste my own money to upgrade that with high-performance injectors because it's there's no point. So there we go. 80 series video. Stick around. We'll see what else crops up. If not, I'll catch you later. Have a good one.